Hi, this is Jim from Beekeeping for Newbies. The other day I did a video filming a swarm that landed nearby. I put up a swarm trap nearby, hoping they would move into it. They didn't move into that one, but they did move into another. Um, but I came out to take that swarm trap and put it someplace else, and apparently it was visited by a bear. So I'm going out to check it right now, see what it looks like. I'm headed up here where I placed that trap and you can probably see it laying up there um, obviously not hanging on the tree anymore so let's take a look at what the bear did here because that's the only explanation for that trap ending up in that location so this is where it was hanging and there's the nail that nail was probably at like a a 30 degree angle up here when I hung the swarm trap on it and you can see now it got bent down pretty far so let's take a look at the trap and see the condition of that so here's the trap laying on the ground um, oh yeah you can see where bear tried to get into it it's all in one piece there was nothing in here but some frames um, including some old brood comb but I guess the bear thought it might be a little enticing in there. But now I want to check the other trap that's up and also um, the trap where the bees actually went into to make sure that one's okay too. So let's take a look at the other trap. Okay, here's the other trap. It seems to be in one piece. And I actually think I see a couple of scalpies checking it out. So um, we could be getting a uh, possibility that some bees are going to move into this trap. Wouldn't that be great? A couple of, uh, couple of trap swarms in short order. Let's go check the, uh, the trap that the swarm went into. On the way, we spot a snapper turtle. She's up here to uh, lay some eggs. So. Um, I'll keep an eye on her, see if I can spot where she lays them, and I'll put a cover over to protect them from raccoons and so forth, picking them up. In the meantime, let's go across the road and check that trap. And as I head across the road, quick spot of the bee yard, that's all in one piece, which means the bear did not get in there, and the electric fence is doing its job. All right, well, this trap is still up, so that's good. Let's just see if there's bees coming and going there they are there they are that's the swarm that moved in there coming and going let's see if we got anybody with pollen on their legs any pollen bags there's one there's a girl with pollen bags orange They're active. I'm sure they're building out, um, building out some wax comb. They're probably coming back with nectar to build that wax comb. So that's good. I'm going to let them stay here another week or so, get established, and then I'm going to move them over to the bee yard. So that swarm trap was taken out. You saw, you saw what the bear did to that nail. And that swarm trap was moved probably about 40 feet. Um, I haven't weighed it, but I'm guessing that swarm trap weighs about 20 pounds the way it is right now, maybe more. Um, to me, it just ampl amplifies how important it is to have an electric fence around your bee yard if you're in a bear area. So um, I'm going to put a link to a video I did on how a, an electric fence works, how to set one up. It's, it's pretty long and it could be a little better, but I think it'll give you enough information to help you figure out how to set one up and protect your beehives from bears. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing, maybe checking the notification bell. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. But do me a favor, give me some constructive criticism constructive criticism in the comments below. Let me know what you didn't like about it so I can try to improve for going forward. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Well, the turtle's not here anymore. Up oh, there she is. She just came out from the other side of the barn here. And uh, 
I know it's not bee related, but if I get to film her laying eggs, I'll post it up on the, on the channel when I get a chance. She's coming right toward me. This is one friendly snapper turtle. Usually they don't come this close. She's coming right along here. She's looking for a spot to lay those eggs. We'll see if we can get some of that. Non-B, non-B video maybe coming up.